Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make another really simple, quick, easy, but very yummy dinner. It's one of those one pan recipes, which I always appreciate and I hope you do too. I guess you would call these steak sandwiches or kind of like a Philly steak and cheese sandwich. Whatever the case, I first get started by chopping up a bunch of bell peppers. Today I have red, yellow, and orange peppers on hand, so I'm using them up, but you certainly could use green peppers for this recipe or whatever you like. I also chop up a bunch of fresh garlic. And as you can see here, I just add all of the onions, bell peppers, and garlic to a bowl. Once I get everything chopped up, I head over to the stove and I start by adding some butter and olive oil to my pan. And I just saute the vegetables until they are tender. Super simple, super easy. I also add salt and pepper at this point to the vegetables. Just a little bit, not too much but I do like to season the layers as I go. Once I get all of the vegetables sauteed and tender, I take them out and then I add in more butter and a little bit more oil. I then use two packages of shaved beef, which I believe is two pounds, and I get all of that added into the pan and start browning it. I season it with salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. As always, the full written recipe will be down below in the description box. Once the beef is nicely browned and mostly cooked through, I add back in the peppers, onions, and garlic. And then to that on top, I add some cheeses. Today I use Havarti and Swiss cheese just because I love that combination, but also because that is what I have and usually keep on hand. But use whatever kind of cheeses or cheese that you love for this recipe. There are no hard rules here, as I always say. So I just get all my cheese piled in. I put a lid on it just to help melt that cheese. And look at this, my friends. It is so delicious, so easy. You can put it in a wrap like I do here or serve it on a nice crusty bun or like a hoagie roll. You could just serve it as is for my gluten-free family members. So many options for this recipe. Give it a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. I make this recipe all the time. Everyone in my family loves it. It's always a winner and it doesn't get any easier than this. I highly recommend it. I just wanna say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.